plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hello and welcome to this plumberparts.co.uk video. Oh my god! Filming loads today in this bathroom. I'm starting to get sick of being here. But at least I'm getting a reasonable amount of tea and coffee and Vinto. Wouldn't you say, Donna? Right, she can't hear me. She just doesn't want to talk. So anyway, we're going to have a look at how to install a concealed system. It's super easy, right? The first thing you want to do, right, is pretty much measure the holes for the back of the loo. Okay, now the way to do that is firstly, get the loo up. So it's roughly in front of where you want to put it, okay? Then get your tape measure and measure down, okay? So you can't see your mark. Now this is 500 across, so that's 250, right? So I'm going to measure down there at the moment. Obviously your measurements could be slightly different, right? So that's my centre line. I'm not going to try and make many marks above that. Then what I'm going to do is I usually just have a look and see how far up I can cut my hole. Now, I usually do this with an angled pencil, but as long as the hole is lower than the back of this toilet here, so you can't see it, then that's fine. So that's part one done. Next, what you want to do is have a look at the height of your loo and also the width. So you get, get down here, measure this width here, so that's 220. But I want to measure inside that, but I also want to give myself plenty of room to be able to work with the multi-quick that's going to go in the back of here. So I'm going to say, we'll probably make that so it's pretty wide, we're going to go for 1800. So, 180 divided by 2 is 90, so down there like so, so got my centre line here, so one mark there, the other mark there, okay, so we've got our pencil marks on here now. There we know, if I marry this up, I know that that's not, we're not going to be able to see that or anything. 220, that's the narrowest point. And that there is only 1800, so we've got loads of room. The next thing you want to do is look at how, where the lowest point of the hole needs to be. So we're going to say 115. So basically what we're going to do is cut out a rectangular shape like this, just like that there and there. That's the next thing. Hold tight. A must if you ever are going to be a plumber multi-master. They are absolutely brilliant for this sort of thing. Right, so now we've got a lovely hole in the back here, ready to take our toilet bits and bobs. So you should be able to now marry up the loo and have a quick look down this side here. That's lovely, there's absolutely loads of room there for our gubbins to go in. I'm not going to show you now, but I'm just going to quickly put on these screws for the floor. Right, so now we can concentrate on our flush. I know that this flush pipe can go up pretty much this high, which is a hell of a hat, man. So, if we just mop this up quickly now, right, so our maximum flush height we've got, we know it's pretty much in line with this pencil line here, okay? So, we know then that we can hang our flush pretty much, always take into account the actual height of the flush bit as well. So, what I'm gonna do here is again, measure out my centre, which I know from here is 25. And then I'm just gonna get this, so, this is central here as well. And once I know exactly where I'm going, I can screw this to the wall. We'll try and leave enough space for your lid to go on afterwards, okay? All right, now that we've got that on, we can unscrew these two nuts here, and then actually pop our flush unit in. Right, so while we're here, we can just get our flush unit put in, get that all tightened up and in. So boom, there we go, we've got our flush unit in, and we've also got our fill valve in. We've got a little braided hose just down here as well, just to do that up. Whilst filming, it's about as fun as having your head kicked in by skinhead. So what we want to do now is basically, we need to get our flush cut off, so it's fully inside our flush unit, and that only go that far up at the moment, so we need to know exactly how much to cut off this first bit here. So. What we're going to do is you measure from the bottom of the loo up to the centre of the hole there, so that's 350. What I usually do then is I'll measure up from the top here, mark that as 350 there, and then just line it up. That sticks out 350 there, and then I know exactly where to cut it off. Like that. Then I've got my nut on, my slip washer here, and then my actual rubber washer. Push that up and into the fitting, like so. So then, basically, you know that this is exactly the right height to receive the loo. In a minute, we're going to cut this back 
because this won't stick all the way into the loo. We'll have to measure, basically, what you do, you measure up until it butts, okay, and then out. And if I was you, I'd have I'd add about another five mil. This is at 3.5 centimeters or 35 mil. I'm going to not take any risk and cut it off at 50 mil because you do not want it too short. Okay, it's the last thing you want. You can push back, but if it doesn't reach the loo, you've ruined the whole job. Right, and then you've got basically one of these lovely washers here that will push over that. I recommend, if you have any, a bit of fairy liquid on these just to lubricate them a little bit. Makes the job a lot easier. So now, if we have a quick look underneath, you'll see that we've got our lovely nut on there. We've got our water on here, and we've got our bit sticking out, our pipe sticking out ready. The next bit we need to do is basically just put a flexible multi quick in here, push that in, and then we're ready to actually get the toilet married up and in position. So basically, now we come to the fun bit. Flexible multi quicks make this job now so much quicker and easier than what they were. Because this could be a nightmare back in the day. See that just comes out. It's really flexible, really multi quick. You know, I've actually got another small piece here to extend it out if I need to. Because sometimes the hole down here on the four inch basically doesn't stick through far enough. So it's just up to you. I could have bought a straight one of these, but there were none in the supplies, which is typical. So that can just fit on there, like so. So, as you can see, it's always a bit, a bit of a fiddle doing this. So often, I'll put this piece on first, just in here. And then I can push this piece back here, like so. I don't know if you can see, just here, I can push my waist on nicely like that. And also, I can get by flushing nice and easily. We've got our flush in. It's a good idea now to turn the water on and just test out everything before you seal everything and do everything up. Right, so there we go. I've got the loo in. I had to take it out again because that little back bit had a little bit of a leak. That happens to the best of us. Do you know what I'm saying? Donna, doesn't it? Absolutely. See, Donna agrees. Donna, did they ever call you Donna Kebab? No. <laughs> I'm sure that's never happened to you. Anyway, so all I need to do now is drill a little hole through here to take my nice little button, pop the lid back on and everything, and I've just got to seal up around the bottom and obviously put my little wee screws in around there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this Plumber Parts of Code UK video, and it's given you a better idea about how concealed toilet systems work and how easy they are to fit. If you need any more help or any more information, visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk. You can subscribe to our videos, you can follow us on Twitter, and you can follow us on Facebook. We often post pictures of plumbing disasters on there, and you never know, you might win yourself a sticker. I'm going to go now and scrub my cat's gut and clean up this absolute mess that I've got sitting around here. And I will see you in our next amazing video. You know what I'm saying, people? So remember, everyone, what have you got to do? Donna, what have you got to do? You know what to say. Hold tight. Hold tight. See ya. Hey, yeah, proof. Just so you know. See you next time. Oh, yeah! Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.